Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about Wiesing's theorem. So what is Wiesing's theorem? Well, basically it says that the edges of every simple undirected graph, so a graph that has no parallel edges and no loops, need a number of colors that is either equal or at most one greater than the maximum degree of the graph. So before we talk about what Wiesing's theorem is, there's a new definition which is maximum degree that we have to talk about. Well, for a graph, the maximum degree that is denoted by capital delta is the largest vertex degree in a graph. So the degree of a graph or a vertex is how many edges connected to that particular vertex. The vertex in the graph that has the largest number of edges connected to it is the maximum degree of that particular graph. So for example, right here, this vertex is degree 3, this vertex is degree 2, this vertex is degree 3, and this one is degree 2, this one is degree 0. The maximum degree or the delta of this graph is 3 because 3 is the largest vertex degree in the graph. However, the opposite of this idea is minimum degree, which is denoted by lowercase delta, and it is the smallest vertex degree in the graph. So for example, right here, the minimum degree of this graph is zero because we have this vertex that has degree zero. So this is maximum degree and minimum degree. So if you have a simple undirected graph, so a graph that has no loops and no edges, and you are trying to figure out how many colors do you need in order to color the edges properly, based on Wiesing's theorem, you will either need a number of colors that are either Either greater or equal to the maximum degree of the graph so you look at your graph and you see what is the maximum degree what is the vertex that has most edges connected to it you take that number and you will need either a number of colors that are equal to that particular number or one greater than that number in order to color all the edges properly. That is basically Wiesing's theorem. Let's say we have a graph like this. This is a simple graph. This is undirected also. As you can see it, the maximum degree right here is 3. This is just an example that I just showed you. This vertex has 3 edges connected to it. This vertex has 3. This one has 2 and this one has 2. So by Wiesing's theorem, if you want to properly color the edges of this graph, either you will have to use three colors or four colors. And that is the case, actually. We need three colors in order to properly color the vertices. As you can see it, all the edges that share a vertex do not have the same color. So for example, this one, this one is red, and this one is blue. This one, this one is blue, this one is yellow, and this one is red. The same goes for this one. And for this vertex, this one is blue, and this one is red. So based on Wiesing's theorem, if you have a simple undirected graph and you want to color the edges properly, either you will need a number of colors that are equal or one greater than the maximum degree of the graph graph. So let me give you another example. Let's say we have this graph. As you can see, this is a cycle graph with three edges. Here, even though the maximum degree is 2, the degree of this vertex is 2, the degree of this vertex is 2, and the degree of this one is 2, even though the maximum degree is 2, however, we need one more than the maximum degree of the graph. As you can see, it, I have used three colors to properly color the vertices of this graph. So I have to have three colors or I have to have one more than the maximum degree of the graph in order to color this graph. And as you can see it, we have graphs that need delta plus one colors to color the edges, and we have graphs that just need delta in order to properly color the edges. So simple undirected graphs based on Wiesing's theorem becomes two classes. Class one, all bipartite graphs according to Wiesing's theorem need delta number of colors in order to properly color the graph and we have graphs like complete graphs peterson graphs that need delta plus one meaning they need one more color than the maximum degree of the graph just to repeat it as you can see right here we have three edges the maximum degree of each vertex is two however we need three colors to color this graph here even though the maximum degree is three we still need three colors in order to color all the edges of the graph properly so based on Wiesing's theorem we have two classes of graphs that one of them need delta plus one colors in order to properly color the edges and the other one needs delta in order to properly color the edges so to loop back in the edges of every simple undirected graph so a graph that has no parallel edges and no loops need a number of colors that is either equal or at most one greater than the maximum degree of the graph and with this we come to the end of this lecture